взрыв выглядел из города Курчатова, центра Семипалатинского полигона. Ослепительной вспышкой и ударной волна сотрясли город. В домах вылетели все стекла. Это кадры из фильма, который был снят специально для показа руководству страны. Текст, естественно, читал Левитан. Вернемся в городок полигона. Сейчас и сюда подойдет ударная волна. Вы видите группу людей, стоящих на дороге? Находясь далеко от места взрыва, они чувствуют себя спокойно. Но за это благодушие им придется поплатиться. For many decades, the consequences of nuclear weapons testing were not known uh, to the local people and to the local government. Only in the years of Glasnost and Perestroika, uh, the information about um, the consequences of nuclear tests, or even about the very fact that the nuclear tests were conducted on such and such day, uh, were given to the government of the Kazakh Soviet Socialist Republic. According to our government information, throughout the 40 years of Soviet nuclear weapon testing in Semipalatinsk, approximately 1.8 million people were affected. As of now, the majority of those people are dead. But uh, now we are facing the uh, problems with second and third generation survivors of the nuclear weapon tests. So these are children and grandchildren of uh, those who were exposed to radiation. The tests were conducted um, in perhaps two big stages. One stage was on the ground and above ground. And uh, out of 456 Soviet nuclear weapon tests at Semipalatinsk, 117 were conducted from 1949 until uh, 1962, either on the ground or above ground. And of course, uh, the radiation fallout uh, and contamination from those tests um, was the, the strongest. Even though the um, area of the test site was 18,500 square kilometers, that's the size of the state of Delaware, the contamination with radiation was detected at an area the size of 300,000 square kilometers, and that's the size of Germany. The test site is being uh, divided into three parts, the green zone, the yellow zone and the red zone. Uh, there are areas of land which can be recovered and then there are areas of land which are so contaminated that they are not to be touched for the next 24 and a half thousand years. So that's basically it in terms of the damage to the environment, in terms of the uh, damage to the health of the people. According to various estimates, uh, there are about 200 thousand people now in Kazakhstan living in uh, eastern Kazakhstan uh, region, in Pavlodar region and in Karaganda region. These are three regions which border the, the test site area. It is in these regions where the, these uh, people are living. They uh, are mostly affected by higher than the average uh, rates of cancer and uh, they are suffering from birth defects and of course uh, all kinds of other related illnesses given the fact that this problem is recurring that this problem is appearing in the second and third generation uh, of the nuclear weapons testing survivors um, i think it's a, a challenge uh, not just for today but for the foreseeable future Oh,